Yes, people, welcome back to West Ham and official. I hope you are all well. The Transfer Speculation Show is back, keeping you up to date with all the latest West Ham transfer news and gossip. Before I get into it, though, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our channel sponsors, SRM Carver and Son, by clicking the link in the description down below. Let's get on with it then, and I'm going to start off uh, with what David Moyes said in his press, or pre-match press conference for the Nottingham Forest game. He was there to talk about Forest, uh, but a little bit of transfer gossip got in there as well. We started off by overall on a whole uh, by saying we've made a lot of bids uh, for players not a lot of them have come through and accepted and obviously uh, we only know the ones that um, um, that have become players but he said we've made a lot of bids and we are trying to get the remaining or or the remainder of the amount of players that we need uh, to start the season properly, I suppose you could say. And a couple of players were mentioned specifically. Th uh, firstly, uh, Thilo uh, Kehrer, um, the German 25-year-old uh, centre-back currently playing for PSG. He said, of course, I would tell the club TV first, if anything uh, significant has happened, but he said we are progressing. Um, it's taking a while, but he said we're progressing uh, in talks to sign that centre-back. So I definitely want to keep an eye on in the next week or so. Hopefully we can get that um, over the line. And the big one is about Memphis Depay because we almost had the yes slash no debate uh, yesterday about Memphis Depay. People like Jacob Steinberg said that um, that we're interested um, and then pretty much an hour later David Moyes on his press conference was asked have we got interest in Memphis Depay and he said no and he basically said not to my knowledge if we are I don't know about it so you get the vibe of a little bit of Sullivan influence if this is true that it is West Ham interested this is definitely more of a Sullivan influence and a signing if it goes through I'd be incredibly surprised if a player like Memphis Depay uh, came to us apparently we've been offered um, kind of a a reduced wage and a reduced um, a reduced offer uh, that's been put on a table from Barcelona to us. Um, so the so the opportunity is there. Apparently, uh, maybe this is just a David Moyes and, and the mail has mentioned it again today as well that there's kind of a split in the boardroom about Memphis Depay. The board and David Sullivan think it's a good deal, but David Moyes wants to pursue different targets. So it could be interesting. That could be one. Um, if he does come, David Moyes doesn't utilise to the best of his ability because of course it won't be a David Moyes. So signing so it's, that's definitely one to keep an eye on if we get some more progression on that one I'd be surprised if it does happen but then again we are talking about David Sullivan and this is a David Sullivan player uh, that David Moyes doesn't want so hopefully this doesn't happen although we do need players but we need to get the right players otherwise the stubborn side of David Moyes is going to come out and we he won't be used and you know there's no real point of it really uh, and then the other one is uh, Mateus Nunes not the st striker uh, for Liverpool but the centre midfielder who is very sought after and very um, highly rated for Sporting Lisbon over in Portugal a couple of Sporting Lisbon fans have told West Ham fans he'd be one of the best players in the Premier League David Moyes has said we've bid for him uh, but the boy he said basically to quote the boy um, does not want to come uh, to West Ham so he said we're just going to move on from that um, but this is David Moyes who's so probably not going to move on but he's said in his press conference that he's going to move on from that now because the player does not want to come to West Ham. Just to go into a little bit more detail um, about a player that we got the most um, that we got the most positive outcome uh, from David Moyes speaking and that was uh, Thilo Kera. Um, as, I, as I mentioned earlier on, 25 year old centre back he's 6 foot 1, uh, would fit into the mould very well, a versatile player in his time uh, and in his career he's played left back, centre back and right back so definitely, um, definitely a player that could be switching positions, could could fill um, a left back role uh, in some occasions as well if needed. 27 appearances last season in Ligue 1 with Paris Saint Germain. Two goals scored um, and overall seems like a good prospect. He is 25 years old, so he's reaching the prime of his career pretty much right now. So I think this is a very good player and he's and he, and he seems to be highly rated and a player that we could see come to West Ham. David Moyes has said that talks are progressing with the player and hopefully once we can get a fee agreed, uh, the next hurdle, of course, will be personal terms and wages. Hopefully we can get that done uh, and get a centre-back at the club ASAP, of course, after the, after the departure of Issa Diop and after the major centre-back crisis we have had in the last week or so. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. That has been today's West Ham Transfer Speculation Show. This hasn't really been speculation. This has been what David Moyes has said in his press conference. Basically, to round off, Nunes, we've put a bid in. He doesn't want to come. Depay, as far as David Moyes knows, we're not interested. And, um, and Theo uh, Kerra talks are progressing and hopefully we can get further with that as soon as possible thanks for watching come on you irons and we'll catch you soon right here on west Ham official bye bye